Hello, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Stay safe on the internet with Surfshark VPN. That's right. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for kicking it. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I got a package. I got a box right here, and this box is from a YouTuber that I am a huge fan of. He goes by the name of Trap Trap Lore Lore Ross. Ross. He runs a YouTube channel that's like hip hop documentaries, all about like rappers and their beefs and their drama, and it's like so addictive, and I'm so into it. It's the type of content that I put on while I'm making art and just like binge it for hours. You guys know that kind of content. <laughs> anyway, me and Trap Lore Ross have been talking. And he's like, bro, I got something for you. And I was like, ooh, sounds interesting. So I'm gonna make a piece of art for a famous hip hop YouTuber, Trap Lore Ross. He's got like half a million subscribers. You guys should definitely check out his channel. It's a guilty pleasure of mine for sure. It's super dope. <laughs> so I got this box here. In the box is some Jordans. Some J's. <laughs> and these happen to be some beautiful vintage Jordan 6s. Some nice, nice Jordans here with this like pop of neon red kind of going on and trap lore ross wants me to custom paint him some jordan sixes the pressure is on it's always tough making a piece of art for somebody that you're a fan of but i'm gonna do my best now trap lore ross sent me these shoes and he also sent me a little video to check out so let's take a look at that video and see what trap lore ross has to say Yo, it's your boy Trapdoor Ross. I am excited to be checking in with your boy 1000 to work on a custom set of sneakers. Now, if you know me, you guys already know that I'm the ultimate hip hop head. And in my opinion, there ain't no pair of shoes that are more hip hop than the Jordans. But I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. Everyone's rocking their Jordan 1s, their 3s, their 4s. But we're going to go with something different. I want to go with the 6s because in my opinion, they are the most fire silhouette of Jordans in recent years. And what better way to represent a fire set of shoes with a fire design. So Mr. 1000, what I want to go with is a flame design, Guy Fieri style flame shoe looking thing. So let's go all white on those Jordan 6s with some sexy flame designs all along the sides. Take me to Flavor Town, bro. Appreciate you. Can't wait to see them. Peace. Wow. Did he just say Guy Fieri? Did he just say flames and Guy Fieri as my inspiration? Oh. My goodness, Trap Lore Ross just gave me the hardest art challenge and probably doesn't even know it. This is gonna be way outside of my style. I don't know how I'm gonna make this dope, but what Trap Lore Ross wants, Trap Lore Ross gets. So let's just jump in and see what we can do. <laughs> how am I gonna make this cool? I have no idea. This is either gonna be super sick or super terrible. So let's just find out, here we go. Yeah. Taking pictures of the shoes. On the gradient is blue. Throw it back to 92. And we gon' do it how we do. Yeah, come on, let's bring the photos in the procreate. Sketch out my idea. We painting Jordan's great. Let the paint flames on fire like Notre Dame. Think I'm on a roller, is this a shoe or a roller skate? Paint, paint shoes for trap no Ross. I'ma narrate my videos with rap more boss. And I'ma get it till I'm finished, be it matte or gloss. And I don't stagger when I spit it like how Shatner talks. Yeah, shadows and highlights. The value of these might rise high like a sky rise. They can fetch a high price. Got Fieri fire spice, blue flame cool. Trap no Ross, is this fire night? Yeah, bro, you can put these on your mantle or you can put them on your feet, damn Daniel Flame, flame on, they can't even hold a candle I'ma hit them with a new style they can handle All right, now it's time to take the factory finish off of these shoes, the clear coat So that I'm just working with straight up leather when I get to painting And I think Angela saw the last shoe video I did where I used nail polish remover to take off the factory finish Because they sent me a whole freaking box <laughs> of the leather prepare and deglazer One, two, three, four, five Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bottles of this stuff. I think I'm prepared for the next like 75 pairs of shoes now. So shout out to Angelus for sending me this stuff. They send me lots of stuff. You guys are rad. Love your paint. Thank you, thank you. All right, now let's deglaze. Deglaze for days. Yeah. Deglaze. Take that factory finish off. All right, the prep work is done. It's finally time to start working on the actual shoes. Here we go. I'm 
on these shoes, the paint that I'm using is Angela's leather paint. Hopefully because I deglazed them and I'm using these leather paints. And in the end, I'm gonna seal them with the Angela's finisher. They should hold up pretty good if he wears them. Be interested to see how Traplor Ross styles these shoes. I couldn't just go with the classic like flame red Guy Fieri kind of <laughs> style. I wanted to flip the colors a little bit, change it up a little bit, maybe try to make it a little bit unique. This is a bit more of a simple design than I might usually do. It's really strange for me to make a shoe that doesn't involve characters. I'm totally like a character artist. I'm an illustrator. And doing something like this is almost so simple that it makes me uncomfortable. I hope Traplor Ross likes them. I hope he likes the liberties that I took with the colors and trying to add a few details that make them a little bit unique and interesting. But this is definitely an uncomfortable project for me just because of the subject matter that was requested. But in the end, I'm super feeling the colors and actually I'm feeling the bold simplicity of this design. Maybe something a bit more wearable and less crazy out there artistic like the stuff that I usually do. Right shoe is done. Now it's time to move on to the left one. So sick, paint some dope ass shoes for a dope ass YouTuber. <laughs> Especially since these are the kind of shoes I normally wear. Stunting. <laughs> All right, let's jump into that left shoe. Here we go. Now we making moves. Yeah, painting Nike boots, painting Nike boots. Angeles leather paint, we just spread it on them Nike shoes. Yeah. You call it acrylic, I just call it shiny juice. Air Jordan 6s, it's ridiculous, making mighty moves. Mighty Mouse, I'm just here to save the day I can see the world in Technicolor Tired of all the gray I'm just tired of all the haters Let them say what they gon' say I'll keep paying, I'll keep paying I just paint the blues away Hello, my name's Matt And I'm an acrylic finisher I'm an open kind of guy And keep things transparent My big problem is Even though my name's Matt I'm a bit shiny. My name's Dollar. I'm a bit dull. Well, Dollar, I'm a bit shiny and you're a bit dull. So what if we got together and just made the perfect finish? You're right. Hmm, now according to your directions, you should mix 5 to 8% of you with me and we'll make the perfect finish. I don't know how we're gonna figure out 5 to 8%, but go on, let's get on with it then. Smashing! All right, I ran down to the store and got these measuring cups to see if I can mix this up correctly. Shake it, shake it. We gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. That's what we gonna do because we're shaking and we're shaking for you. Chimichangas. All right, Matt. Now, I don't really know any other way to do this because my measuring cups are so big and these bottles are relatively small. So I'm gonna pour this whole bottle into here. Yeah, baby. So that looks like about 115 milliliters, 120 milliliters. Or maybe that's just the foam. We'll call it 110. So 110 times 0 0.08 for 8%, 8.8 8 milliliters of duller. Now I got this smaller cup. 10 milliliters is right there. So let's go between that hatch mark and that hatch mark. Trying to be all scientific with it. Shake up the duller. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, stop shaking me. I don't like this. All right, Duller. I'm going for 8.8 .8 milliliters. That's about five. All right, we'll call that 8.8. .8. I mean, just the fact that I'm actually measuring anything is way different than how I normally operate. So I think I'm gonna pour the duller and the finish back inside Matt and then just shake the hell out of him because I think that'll be more effective than mixing it in these measuring cups. And then hopefully in the future, I can just use Matt straight out of the bottle because the duller's already mixed in and life will be easy. Wow. I feel complete again. All right, Matt, back to your normal self. Now let's shake him. Whoa, this is the wildest ride I've ever been on. He's shaking just a little bit back into here. And now it's time to finish the shoes. Clear coat, let's put it on. The final step, I wrote this song about clear coat, clear coat. And then last 
Lastly, I wanted to draw a portrait of Trap Lore Ross. Basically, I didn't get to do any characters or any figures on this project, and I was just like hankering to draw an actual character. I figured it would be something cool that I could throw inside of the package when I ship his shoes over to the United Kingdom, and he might get a kick out of seeing my version <laughs> of a portrait of him. A little bit stylized, a little bit cartoonish. But when you've spent this amount of time just painting green flames on shoes, I just really wanted to bust out a dope character real quick, so I hope he thinks it's cool. <laughs> Well, the shoes are pretty much done, and I can't wait to show you guys the final sexy shots. Also, I'm packing them up, sending them off to UK to trap Lord Ross, and he promised he was gonna film his first reaction of opening the shoes up, so I'm super excited to see that. But first, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. What's a VPN? Well, a VPN or virtual private network basically is a privacy protection tool that hides your location on the internet, hides your private data so no one can see your passwords, photos, videos, sensitive data, or know what you're doing on the internet. And one of my favorite parts is you can also change which country you're accessing the internet from so you can unblock locked content. People in Canada have different Netflix shows than people in the United States, different Netflix shows than people in UK, some YouTube content content is only allowed in specific countries, but when you have a VPN, all those borders are just taken down. Mr. Surfshark, knock down that wall. I think I was impersonating the wrong president. <laughs> As a professional artist, I find myself traveling pretty frequently and I have to use hotel Wi-Fi, coffee shop Wi-Fi, airport Wi-Fi, all these unsecured networks. It's super important for me to have a VPN to protect my data. Plus, Surfshark is the only VPN that's available on an unlimited number of devices, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your computer. It works on all of them. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to protect your online data, stay safe online, dodge them hackers, and also unlock content from around the world. So get signed up with Surfshark and when you do, make sure you use my code 1000 for 83% off plus three extra months free. Dang, that's a good deal. Three months free, 83% off. Use code 1000, link in description. Thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring this video. All right, you guys ready to see the finished shoes and also what Traplor Ross thinks of these things? I know I am. All right, here we go. Jesus. Boom, 10 hundred. Came through with that pack, baby. I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm in for. I told my boy 10 hundred, put together some flaming hot Cheeto style Jordans for me, and I just, I don't know what I'm in for. I know this is gonna exceed my expectations. It's gonna be a madness. I cannot wait to see what's inside this box. Oh, I can smell greatness inside it. All right, here's how we're gonna do it. Scissors, safety first. The anticipation is building, building, rising, rising. What are we in for? Oh, I'm gassed. I'm so excited. Okay, got some bubble wrap. To be fair, that, that's as good as a gift, to be honest. These are fire. I love bubble wrap. Shoot that like Jordan. Shoot that out the scene. Oh my. We've got fire 10 hundred hoodie. This is lit. Look at that. It's popping. Okay. Okay. I see how we're cooking 10 hundred. I see how we're cooking. Oh, no way. No way. No way. My guy. Oh, this is madness. This is an original 1000 Trap Lord Ross masterpiece right here. That is insane. Real talk, this is all green screen behind me because I've just moved. I need to get a new wall of wall of joy of all the cool stuff behind me. But this is the first thing that's going up. This is absolute flames. We've got, oh, we've got stickers popping left, right, and center. We've got 1000 stickers. This is it. I ain't even opened the main thing yet. But this is absolutely outrageous. This is off the chain. It's lit. Right, the bar is so high already. The bar is off the charts. Got another, another 10 hundred hoodie, man. I don't have to buy anything for winter. My wardrobe is on fleek right now. On some Japanese manga fire sick shit stuff. Could try not to swear. I feel like your channel is more family friendly than mine. This is sick. Okay, wardrobe is on fleek. Got another tea as well. Oh, this is crazy. I wish my merch was this good, real talk. This is lit. Can't wait to wear this. The mad pink tones. Oh, I'm gassed. That is sick. Okay, this is the moment though. This is, now this is the moment. This is like that DJ drama, Meek Mill. Been waiting so long, but this is my moment. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna blow my little mind. Okay, let's do this. 
try not to look, try not to look. Okay, okay, right, peeling back the paper, here we go, here we go, this is the moment of truth. Oh my, oh my days, oh my days, what? These are insane. Oh, this is a madness. Oh, come on. Nah, you're having a laugh, man. These are some fire kicks. Look at that. That's like some next level. This is dunking all over the Guy Fieri flames. This is like some, it's like some spirited away manga, anime flames, some next level. The colors are sick. And then this, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nah. So this, you're telling me this pink is gonna match the pink on the shirt. Are you mad? Are you insane? That is so sick. That is so sick. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You got all the colors popping. You got the trap law Ross. I don't even know what mad hieroglyphics this is, but that is absolute way go. I hope that's like, I don't know what that is, but it's sick. It's got the yellow here. Oh my days. And real talk, it's also a fly Jordan. I'm not gonna lie, it's, a, it's just a fly Jordan regardless of the paint. So this is just lit. That fresh shoe smell. I gotta do the DJ Khaled special one time and lick the sole just for the culture. Tastes fresh, tastes like new. I can tell you've not been stomping around in these on the ball court. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a breakdown of what the like hieroglyphics on the side of these mean, because they are just a madness. But these are sick. I don't know how you did it, but it's maggot the junk, like a sick pink junk man on the bottom. It's, it's just a madness. I might have to put these on one time. Bro, is it outrageous? It's next level. Right, let me throw these on. I feel like riffraff with these, man. I'm gonna be dunking on fools. Oh, these are sick. These are sick. Get these on my stupid feet. Oh my, oh my days. Hang on, I'm gonna just hold them up like this real quick just to show you the fuego. You boy out here on some Tommy Pickle shit. That is so sick. Hold up, pan down. I'm finna just stand on my couch real quick. Bro, bruh, bruh. These kicks are out of this world, man. Get my Michael Jackson, I'll be moonwalking in these big is my lord! Got the Ten Hun on one shoe and the TLR on the other shoe. That is what I'm talking about, man. That is fire. You know how rappers be talking on the money phone? I'm gonna be talking on the shoe phone, straight up. Talking on that Ten Hun phone, talking on that Trap Law phone. These are crazy, bro. I just wanna say thank you so much. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you made these look so sick. This is just some outrageous, out of this world fly drip. Like, Riff Raff ain't even on this level when it comes to the colorful, crazy Jordan drip. So I'm just very grateful. I appreciate you, bro. I can't believe how god darn talented you are to have made such a sick pair of kicks. And I just, I feel I'm not even worthy of these shoes, man. I don't even want to wear them. They're so fly in this English, dutty rain weather that we're going to be going through soon. But bro, all I can say is amazing job. These are sick. Thank you so much. And salute to you, my guy, Ten Hunnet. Peace. Well, I'm super glad that Traplor Ross liked those shoes so much. This was a super fun project. Real talk, I finished those shoes like two, three weeks ago, but it took a long time to ship them to him in the United Kingdom. So seeing that footage that he sent me, I was like so hyped. I've been waiting and waiting to see what he thinks. I had a ton of fun painting these Jordans. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments. You like how I flipped the Guy Fieri style or, <laughs> or what? Check out my website, 1000art.com. If you want to check out any of my t-shirts or hats or hoodies or long sleeves or any of my stuff, that's at 1000art.com. Free shipping in the US, international shipping is available. Thank you so much to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. If you guys like this video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and definitely go check out Traplo Ross's channel. I love Traplo Ross's channel. There'll be a link to his channel down in the description of this video. Watch a video or two, maybe consider subscribing to his channel too because he's a super dope dude and he makes really awesome and entertaining content. Shout out to Angelus for sending me those supplies and thank you so, so, so much to my patrons. You guys support me on a monthly basis. You're the coolest people on the internet. I really appreciate your support. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys very much. I had a ton of fun. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Boom. <laughs> well, it's the end of the video, so it's time for the random comment shout out. This one comes from Haik. H-A-Y-K, Hike. Hike says, what brushes do you use for coloring? I asked so many people, no one has answered frowny face. <laughs> well, I think he's talking about in my digital art. So I just use really like the most basic round brushes and I mess with how hard the brush is, whether it's got a hard edge or a soft edge. I mess with the opacity, but I really don't use special brushes in both Photoshop and Procreate. I'm just using like hard round brush or soft round brush. And then in real life with real art, again, I keep it real basic. I use just cheap crappy brushes from like Michael's Arts and Crafts. I'm just like a basic person when it comes to brushes, I guess. But thanks for the awesome question. I've always been like, yo, it's not about the tools you use. It's about how you use them. So I don't know. Just start messing around with brushes. See what you like. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the awesome comment hike. Shout out to you. Peace out.